Next up, let's add a loading icon. When we get new jokes, it takes a moment. Let's have the loading icon display and then go away once it's done and then reshow all of this content with the new jokes added. To do that, we're gonna go and update our state, the initial state. We need to keep track of whether we're loading or not. And it can start as false. But when does it need to be set to true? Well, once we're actually getting new jokes, we're going to update that state to say loading. So I'm gonna do it right here. When we click on that button, handle click is called. What we wanna do is set the state, this.setState, and we're going to say loading is true. And then I'm actually gonna pass this.getJokes as a function, as a callback to run after this finishes. So we haven't seen this very often, at least not in this form but I just want this to run after loading is set to true. It's probably or almost guaranteed to be fine if we left it like this and we just set state and then did this. But if we wanna make sure that it's happening afterwards, we're gonna do it this way. Okay, so this will set loading to be true when we need it to be true and then reset it to be false it has to happen after we set the state. So right here, when we get jokes, we're going to update it to say jokes is this and also loading is false. Then inside of our render, we can use this.state.loading. So we've seen this before. At the beginning of render, we don't really need any of this if loading is true. So I'm just gonna do if this.state.loading. If that's the case, I'm going to short circuit and return a div with the class name of maybe loader, loading, maybe spinner. And then inside of there, I'm just gonna use a font awesome icon for, for a spinner. So the classes are class name equals F-A-R. And I'm using actually a smiley face. So F-A-8-X makes it larger. F-A laugh is the icon itself, a laughing face. And then F-A spin is going to make it spin. So it's a nice easy way. I don't have to actually write the spin animation. And then we could add an H1 or something underneath that says loading. And let's just repurpose the class that we already wrote. Where are you? Joke list title. Let's use that just to get those styles here. Okay, so at the moment, if we click this button, we see our loading icon. It's not perfect, but it is working. So now let's change the color of that icon and try and center it. And actually, let's update this to be joke list dash spinner and then copy that into our joke list select that class and the first thing i'll do is give it a color so color white and text align center now if i go and load new jokes there we go it's our little icon spinning in the middle you could change the color you could do yellow like one of these emojis but that's good enough for me i'm actually going to clear my local storage for now so window dot local storage dot clear and then try it again so refresh, we get new jokes. Looks decent, good enough for me. All right, 